What's up guys, this is Wayne Hedge from Wayne's Gaming. We're going to do a repeat of yesterday's uh, game called Kona. We're going to repeat the beginning part again out of VR. Well, anyway, let's get started. I figured it would look a lot better out of VR for at least the first episode. information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. This looks been. much better, the too. client pays, Carl gets it done. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Yeah, this is much better. I used to control diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Yeah, we got ourselves a bottle. in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to reestablish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries.
look so much better out of uh, VR. Carl was meeting his client in a store near this area. He was on the right track. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise him. Yep, for real. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl That's had to how you get an achievement, by the way. I know it's the last time. Hamilton is waiting for Carl but, uh, in the general anyway, store. There was time a dollar to get the uh, stone. You put a dollar underneath the stone and you get the achievement. Anyway, we're gonna get started. Then enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target Oh boy. few hours later <laughs> oh boy Carl needed to get out of there the cold and the pain required urgent care Items into that little Carl trunk. wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life no depended on it. Oh, cool. second.
Oh, that's how you access the map. Okay. That helps. I'm not accessing any equipment. Maybe that's what it's under. Actually, not a camera. That ain't what we're at. Her. Consumables. Maybe that's what we're at. Oh yeah, that's probably it right there. Yep. Even that's better than you. Know, but Carl Fulbert had succeeded once more, and was now on his way to new adventures. for a moment here. We are saving the game again. And we got that part. You can open the door here. You go. I want to check. Well, you know what? I'm going to grab out one more time. Well, we had that just in case. I'm going to do a little searching around here. Okay. Nothing up here. the zoom in that's really interesting there and I just figured out how to run this is gonna be cool yeah, you gotta hold that thing in we're gonna take off in a second this helps out so much take back off now. Now we are ready to drive to the general store. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forests, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. mystery.
didn't surrender their divine nectar suite. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Uh, sure. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottle. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Something fell to the bottom of the box. recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close, that the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Yeah, we definitely want that. Keep the picture, definitely keep the picture. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Place. Carl yes. felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Oh boy. <laughs> that is something. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. We just lost the power. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Okay, not that. Let's see. Not that. <laughs> okay, that's how you get it, okay. We have all this, so. radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Print? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? to share those details. Let's go. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out.
The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, has seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams, a old unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. To all appearances, this was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. What could these engraved numbers mean? A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Hmm. This is some kind of dream here. unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Gilles Lachance, the general store's manager himself. That had to be the worst parking job ever. Who was Carl yes, to judge? I guess so. so. It may be customary to park like that around these parts. Or not. Get to do a little jogging. Starting to adjust now. Yeah, it's not cutting on right now, so. I need to check this whole building over. in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Yeah, I figured I'd get us a little bit of a warm up here.
definitely need that. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. We found a garage key. Two different types of keys. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The <laughs> poor thing was out of power. Okay. That's the next thing I, I gotta do something weird. something about that now. was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Oh, 
the murder weapon. What was that doing there? Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Well, got something. something in a minute here. If I have to mess with the box again. Okay, I think that just helped us out. Let's see. We can lift this thing here. Carl was making progress. But the lift probably needed some more juice to work properly. Carl was making progress, but the lift probably needed some more juice to work properly. Okay, yeah. Gotta know what they're talking about. At least we're getting some. Exercise there. <sighs> Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. That's not a switch. That works. It's going to be one of those. There we are. We did it. And we own the curl bar. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. For sure. Break lock. <laughs> Got everything broken now. So. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go on and get going. I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great day. We got better progress done today than we did yesterday. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. And thanks for watching the channel.